Ladies and gentlemen, please take a moment now to silence all cellular devices, watches, or other noise-making devices, and please refrain from using your cell phone during the performance. At this time, we ask that you please take note of the exits located behind the audience, and in the likely event of an emergency, please proceed calmly to one of those exits. Thank you for your cooperation, and enjoy the show. enough. There's sufficient evidence to determine our verdict. The pieces all seem to fit and make sense. Hmm? Their salvation depends on us. Do you know what you're doing? We cannot tolerate more scandal. You, this is an abomination. You have to stay one step ahead. Don't leave her any mind. You know, they say you're all about the workers. Well, if that's the case, despite our differences, we're on the same oh, side. Listen to her. <laughs> Unspeakable sin deserves no pity. He who does not punish the flesh dies in eternity. The conditions are brutal on anyone. I think the guy just needs a break from the place. You're so certain of your verdict. She will forever be a daughter of sin, a sin we are not going to carry on our back. Are you threatening me? We are not responsible. Okay, if we're going through this thing again, come on. Let's go before I change my mind. Keep your eyes on her at all times. Nina Belia. Nina! Nina. 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 It's my duty 
to warn you of strict policies all must abide by. Visitors are forbidden on weekdays. Families are welcome on Sunday afternoons and once a month, but only on the first weekend you may take her home. I want what's best for her. I'm at the end of my rope. I'm poor and it's the best I can do. We cover the costs of mothers incapable of providing for their own. Life is hard, especially for a single mother. This life of ours is for passing through. He who does not punish the flesh dies in eternity. I'd say having to give up a child is suffering enough. <laughs> a daughter born of sin? Will we conquer her for the glory? Will I be able to see her again? You can visit her on permitted days. One additional week during Christmas and one entire month in the summer. Permitted days. Sunday afternoons. <laughs> Once a month, you can take her home for the weekend. If I can't make it, if I couldn't come, you would understand, right? Describe the stain for me. It wasn't very big, but it was dark. A bit smaller than his head. Maybe a little bigger. His head rested on the dark blotch like he was using it as his pillow. A pillow with little moons in its orbit. Moons? Four smaller stains, the size of coins, and getting smaller and smaller and smaller as they moved out from the center. And his eyes open. Shut his eyes. Shut his fucking eyes. I felt like screaming, but I couldn't. Shut his eyes. I told Miguel to shut them. I wasn't going to touch him. He'd probably still be warm. With his eyes closed, he looked so peaceful, almost dreamlike. The carpet. What about the carpet? How were we going to get rid of it? That perfect wedding gift from my mother. Winter came, and I'd sit on it and trace my fingers over the lines of its patterns. I could never follow them without getting lost. And they cut this way and that way, and over and under and over again, as if they were put there on purpose. That I would forget it, to confuse me. I'd follow one line without taking my eyes off of it. And before I knew it, I abandoned it for another, and then another, and then another. And I'd give up and start over until my eyes got too heavy to keep going through the night. Carpet. They're incredibly hypnotic, these carpets. Uh, you're, you're positively sure he was not alive? He was dead. But he was smiling. Smiling at me. Nina Valia. 24-year-old female, 1.65 meters, 43.9 kilos. Hair, blonde, perfectly white. Boom, straight. Eyes, reddish blue, large, perpetually red eyelids, pimp, no eyebrows, pale skin, with a light, thin layer of body parts. Frame looks emaciated and sickly, skin and bones, though her breasts are disproportionate, entirely too large for her frame and too droopy for her age. Her large, soft, colorless nipples sit above a pelvis which protrudes dangerously from her Minor bruising on the left shoulder and a vaccine scar approximately 2.5 centimeters in diameter. Another scar slides down her breast and across her abdomen. Perpendicular to it, a third scar. Extending down the lower part of her womb. The mark of some beast! How much? Flesh of sin, repent and prepare to take the body of Christ.
She has the body of a girl, but Satan inhabits it. No need to be gentle with her. She missed out on a father figure. She could use some discipline. She will forever be a daughter of sin, a sin we are not going to carry on our backs. You have to take her in. What am I supposed to do with her? What now? We are not responsible. Where is your sympathy? Countless girls depend on us for their education. Their salvation depends on us. We will certainly not risk losing hundreds for the mere salvation of one. One more chance, please. I beg you. Things are starting to look up for me now. I may even be able to pay for part of it. The norms of this institution are sacred. I could pay for some of it up front. I just can't take care of her right now. It's impossible. I just need a little compassion. You will make an exception. Just this one time. Thank you, Mother. Thank you very much. Do you want to see her? I can't today. It's getting late. Don't tell her I was here. <laughs> Charges brought against Nina you. Valia, you're not obligated to answer that. You don't have to do anything they say. Question! 
questions are made to be answered. The answers are made to be questioned. Nina Valia, do you plead guilty or innocent of the charges brought against you? Guilty. is moved with horror and indignation over the sad case of Miguel Gutierrez and Nina Valia. After a confrontation between the victim and the husband, Nina Valia took it upon herself to dismember the body, grinding up the pieces and cooking them into little hamburgers. Today, Nina Valia has pled guilty against the charges brought against her by the municipal office. Are you crying? I never thought this could happen. Well, we did it. We're married. I'm sorry there's no honeymoon. It doesn't matter. And I'm sorry about our house. You deserve better. Miguel, I love you. It would kill me if I upset you. God, look at you. You're so tiny. Stop thinking so much about everything. Just do it. Make me yours. I want you inside. You're so you. small and delicate. I, I'm scared of hurting you. I'm not the first, am I? I thought we decided not to talk about our past. But what difference would it make anyway? I just don't want to hurt you. I'm afraid of making you bleed. I'm not afraid of a little blood. Just do it. Make me yours. OK, but let's be gentle. I could hurt you. I'm your wife. Do what you like. <laughs> You're barely a girl. <laughs> what? Your mother is coming over for lunch tomorrow. Whose idea was it? Was it yours? It was supposed to be just you and I alone. Look, she's your mother. I know she's done some stuff to you in the past, but don't you think it's time you forgave her? She's a fucking bitch! Well, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? I'm sure one day you'll come around. She's your mother. I never knew my parents, so you're much luckier than you know. You just don't get it, do you? You know nothing about her like you know nothing. When we have children, you'll change your mind. You'll get it then. So what are you waiting for? Make me change my mind. Yeah. Ed? You got a light? How much? What do you need? I want to hurt you. <laughs> That'll cost you extra. You like me? Yes. Yeah. Been with someone so young before. You're barely a girl. You think? I can tell you things only a woman can do. We need to find someplace else from now on. Someplace your mother can't find us. Are you scared of her? I'm more afraid of you. <laughs> do I care about you? Stop it! You're hurting me! I hate it, night! You crazy eyes! Shut the fuck up! Just fucking tear me up with my claws! Don't feel your nails dig deep into me! Just fucking do it! Let's get some go somewhere your mom can't find us. How does she like it? How do you do it to her? Why do you care? You tell me, who turns you on more, me or her? How are you coming with me? When you're with her, does she scream? How does she like it? Get off me! You're hiding me! Shut the fuck up!
you think he's coming back to you, do you? He left you, didn't he? You will never see him again! I'm sure of it. She despises me. No, no, Nina is fine. Come on. She hates me, and we both know it. I mean, can you blame her? I dropped her off at an orphanage when I was young, but I was a single mother fighting to survive. It's my fault, but what could I do? I think I've made my dues. Give her time. I'll talk some sense into her. She'll come around. No, I don't think so. I'll talk to her. The three of us need each other. We're the only family we've got. I never knew my mother. You never knew your mother? Oh, you poor thing. It must be hard. You missed out on so much love. You must not know what it's like to feel love wrap around you. Or love that's gentle enough to kiss you on the eyes without expecting anything in return. Lullaby and night. Why did you take him from me? You could never have his son! He gave it to me! He gave it to me! Everything you touch turns to death! She hates me. And that's not going to change. She's the only person I have left. Tell me. Does she love you? She tore all traits of him from inside me. Do you make love often? Handed me over to a butcher! A butcher who showed no mercy! No mercy as he hollowed out this 16-year-old girl, condemning her to a childless life. He took it, left me there open, bleeding. He ignored my cries as I lay on that dirty little bed. My insides were outside. But it didn't matter anymore, because she kept me from the one. She drove him off with her hate, her lies, so that he would never come back to me. Al, get off that. I'm your new assistant. I don't need an assistant. Uh, they assigned me to you, sir. They said that you needed help. You knew? Son of a dotted line just today. Contractor. Full time. Full time, new kid. Got it. I'm not so new at it. I've got plenty of experience. Get back to the offices, boy. I've worked with rolling machines, uh, casters. I, I didn't talk. I said get off that. Look, please, I can't. I'm walking out of my job. Go upstairs and tell your friends in the office that I'm not here to babysit. They can put you wherever the fuck they want, but not here. I'm not interested. Got it? I'm here to help. Hey, just please tell me what to do. Teaching isn't in my job description. Ah!
very quiet. Why aren't you saying anything? Don't you know what she did? She took our son. How could you sit there so quietly, say something? She killed him. And what do you plan to do about it, huh? How could you sit there so quietly? It's time to eat. I don't want to. It's time to eat. Why feed the flesh and let not let it starve itself into damnation? No excuse will save you. How much longer? Why do you care? It could be tomorrow, seven days, one a month. Change is best with blind logic. We have not come to a consensus. Why do you all keep torturing me like this? You brought this on yourself. Now you will eat the fruits of your sins. Well, I... Uh... I got some time off coming up. Sick of it already? Taking the dead machine every day. You can't even see the light of day. <laughs> Settle down. You've only been here for two months. And how long have you been here? October, it'll be 24 years. <laughs> that, that is officially 20, 50 years. And 10 months, two months. Away. <laughs> you know, I guess I'm just used to it. Besides, I don't know anything else. These conditions are enough to shame even our grandparents. Right? Okay, the management's not doing anything for us. Unions suck. I mean, things have got to change, man. And we have, have to, to get ready for it. We have to fight to protect our past and fight to protect the future of the, future of the worker. Change is definitely here. Ambitious. You going someplace with your time off? Uh, I should. I got enough days shaken up. <laughs> well, why don't you go someplace nice with the family? I hear Valencia is nice this time of year. Not too many Brits there either. <laughs> I'm not married. Go with your folks. I think I'm a little too old for that. Besides, I don't have any parents. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I never know what to do with my days off, because I don't know anyone around here, so I end up staying home. But hey, you know, at least I lose sight of the blasted inferno, because this place gets stuck in your fucking head. I, I see it in my dreams, you know? This machine, it's got, it's got me going crazy. Let me tell you something about this place. This machine. The machine is a woman. You gotta treat her with force. Don't pay her any mind. If you do, she'll ask for more and more. You've gotta keep your eyes on her at all times. If you ignore her, she'll start whining. If you're drunk with her, she will moan. If everything goes well, she'll purr like a kitten. You'll learn that she can't do anything to you. You are always the boss. The trick is to make it a dream you like to sleep through. Is that blood? Lab results show it belongs to the victim. Woman, white, 34 years old, approximately 1.5 meters tall. 43.9 kilos, grayish blue, large eyes, virtually red eyelids, no eyebrows, and a light, thin layer of body parts. Yes. Cause of death? Hemorrhaging asphyxiation. You can see the cut she has all over her body. All oh, physical evidence of trauma. Ah, trauma from change. <laughs> Hematomas ranging in size cover the thorax and her extremities. Not all change comes from chaos. And she was a prostitute for God's sake. God has nothing to do with her. Brutal tear of the genital organs. Something shoved into the vagina. Most likely the steel bar found next to her. Mm -hmm. And oh goodness, the face, sweet Jesus, the face. Apparently the intent was to disfigure her. He got her good. You can't even see the face anymore. It's like dough. Fingerprints all over the objects. That's right. And traces of semen in the vagina. Oh, God, lab results are pending, but the body was covered in semen. The mark of some beast. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, but... It's okay. I'm gonna give you what you want. You need a vacation. And let's go to the beach or something. And time away from work. Uh, you're always complaining about how you've been chained to your job for 20 years, day in and day out. You have to take some time off. I can't. I can't leave that responsibility to anybody else. 
No one knows her like I do. She only responds to my touch. Without me, I'm not sure what would happen. Yeah, you're just another factory. Look, who cares about machines? And they'll keep going even if you're not there. <laughs> not this one. She needs me. Look, I know you don't get it, but it's like I changed her somehow. She's like a small child. Rather starve to death than be fed from a hand she doesn't recognize. No one would get it right. There you go again with that talk. I, I thought we decided that you would get a new job. You're going to crack under all this pressure. You have to take some time off. A new job at my age. Someone has to take care of both of us. <laughs> By both, you mean you and that machine? I could get a job while you look for something else. No. What about your assistant? No. Show him what to do. He could take care of it for you. It's just for a few weeks. A few weeks? Just enough time for us to take a break. Uh, ten days. Or, or even just a week. I'm not leaving her. Do you understand me? Not right now. What about me? Do you ever think about us anymore? Sorry. You're sorry? You're always sorry. Not sorry not to put me before your fucking job. Why is that so damn important to you? Is that all you can focus on? Just drop it. <laughs>